Do you like this particular area? You do? I think it's rather lovely for a, for a painting. Um, I was looking for a particular area to, to paint today. And I happened across this wonderful meadow here. And I'm running into you at this very moment as well. And according to you, this particular area is quite nice. Um, I mean, the birds are a little loud here, but nonetheless, um, it looks like a fine area to be, you know, painting in. I think it can lead to quite a nice um, landscape painting, if you will. It's very inspiring from what you can see here. So uh, you're more than welcome to observe as I do my painting. That's up to you. But uh, just to just to warn you, actually, I have a little ritual that I do before I start with my painting. So generally what I do is I just play with the canvas a little bit, like such. I want to really be in tune with the, the canvas here. So I might feel it up like this, as you can see. Um, I might you know, gently listen to the sounds of the canvas, just to you know make sure that it's worthy of being used for my, my artwork. If you if you're more than welcome to watch if you if you really want to, um, it, it's up to you. I really don't doesn't really mind, you know. But uh, the, I'm gonna just do those things, and you let me know, or or if you're I'm assuming you're not running away yet, so you're okay with all of this. Um, is that a safe assumption? Okay. Uh, one of my manners, I totally forgot to introduce myself. Let me just shake your hand right there. My name is um, um, Benedict, 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 Benedict. Okay, my name is, my first name is Benedict. My last name is Stain Shade, Stain Shade, Stain Shade, Stain Shade. Um, I hope that's okay. That's, I'm. Uh, it has to be okay because that's my name, Benedict Stain Jade. Hey, it's uh, it's an interesting name, but I guess it's fitting for my uh, my personality. You know, I mean, who wears a leather jacket with a top hat? I mean, not many people, and also feels up their canvas before they paint it, and listens to it. Um, so yeah, Benedict uh, Stain Jade. Okay, here we go. Let's just listen. Can you hear that? It, uh, it seems rather... It seems like a good piece of material. Um, do you agree? I mean, it has this nice wood backing here. It's quite sunny, so I mean, you might see a glare and uh, weird look shade uh, from the trees, like leave like a um, shadow kind of thing, kind of like my hands doing right now. So it's like it's sunny, but it's not really sunny at the same time. You understand what I'm saying, right? You get that? Okay. So it's not just me then. All right. So it sounds like. We have some good quality material right here. You want to listen? Okay. Maybe we'll go 
good so far. I know uh, some folks are not quite in tune with the um, the loud, rough sounds. They like like whispering, like "Hello, how are you? Are you feeling good today?" But um, I'm not really into that kind of scene. I think it's um, rather creepy. So, you know, if somebody comes up to you and they're just like, I pet your dog, do you like that? Like, it's weird, you know. But, I mean, I'm not one to really complain too much. Did you hear that? Maybe this forest isn't a great place to to do my artwork. Let's just wait a minute. Just wait. Okay, I think we're good right now. Okay. Alright, so we're partially through our little tap session here, scratch session, and smelling session, and hearing. Wait, we can smell. What do you smell? Nothing, right? Okay. Well, I guess that's a good thing. I mean, if I wanted a scented canvas, I would just make one out of the hide of a kitten or something. But uh, this is nice quality plastic-like material. So let's just it sounds like rain on a, a tent in the summer or something, or like a teepee. That's what this kind of is. It's like a TP material. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to any offend anybody. Okay. So. So I have my uh, my brush here. So what I'm gonna do to start off this whole thing is I'm just gonna put on this light glaze that um, that I have with me at the moment. So I'm just gonna dip it in. In case you're wondering, I have a little um, little stand I set up here. Okay, so I just dipped in my materials. So we're just gonna just gonna cover this whole canvas here. good. So let me just switch my brushes and get another one like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some blues in this real quick. We're just gonna we're gonna beat the the GBs out of this. And we're gonna get 
get some white, but it still has a little bit of blue in it. So it'll blend in nicely. Got it. So we're gonna we're gonna beat the bejeebies one more time. I mean, beating the bejeebies is really the best part of this whole situation here. Okay, um, and we're just gonna have green. We're gonna have a thick layer of green here, but a light green, a, th a thick layer of light green. And we're just going to put that on the base of this painting here. And I'm feeling something in the background, like a mountain or something. And we're going to have it uh, pretty green. looking fabulous already. So I'm just going to place this down and get another brush. And we're going to put some browns on this one. Okay, it's, it's coming together. It's going to be like a little, sort of like a meadow over here. A little bit of dirt. throw some brush in the background here. And how about some tree bark? We'll throw some trees in there. Throw a couple of uh, offshoots here. Some bark. Maybe we'll throw one on this side as well. tint back here. Okay, let's beat the bejeebies out of this one. Okay. How about some yellows? Let's throw some yellows in there. You gotta make sure to add a little bit of color but not a lot throughout the canvas here. Nice little tinge. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna get another brush. We're gonna put some green different green for the branches here. They'll just blend in with the yellow and uh, we'll go over a little bit of the brown. Now in case you're wondering, this is quick drying paint. So basically as soon as it touches the, the canvas here, it's dried. Let's throw a little more over here. Maybe a little here. We're gonna we're gonna quickly paint a little house, so we'll get a different brush. And we're just gonna quickly touch this. along nicely. 
nice thing. Do you like this color? How about we put some on your face right there? Fabulous. Okay, so we're almost done here. We're just going to do a quick layer of white. And I have this special brush. Um, and we're just going to throw some of that in there. It's a little rough, but you know, it gets the job done when you need it to. And I think um, I think this is pretty complete. Uh, just give me a moment to uh, to make sure everything's all set up here. All right. Just one minute. We're almost complete. Okay. I left a little bit of a border, just so you're aware, so it has a white um, border. No, okay, good. There's a white border around it. Okay, cool. Just one, one more minute. Um, it means a lot. Okay. So this is the final product. Uh, I think we did a good job. Um, hopefully you agree. I mean, it's got all the colors in it that I mentioned. It's got a little house. This is uh, Benedict's um, um, painting called um, House in Hell. Um, I think it's quite nice. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it appears you, you enjoy this painting that I did. Um, so I, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for you joining me uh, today. Uh, maybe I'll come back and I'll I'll paint you a new picture. Um, does that sound good? Is, is, you like that idea? We get to see Benedict again. Um, cool, cool. Um, again, it was it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, and I will be uh, making my way out of this uh, this meadow here. Um, but uh, the sunlight here it's it's really nice. I mean you should you should come. And hopefully you, you won't run into me, but if you do, um, the pleasure is all mine. Um, you know, I mean, I guess you can be pleasured at the same time as well, but uh, but yeah, that's the um, that's the deal here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, go on my way here, my merry little way. Um, you never know when um, it's going to start raining butterfingers. Uh, uh, it, it's like um, that place, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, Iceland, where, where things randomly happen, and you never understand why. I guess I think this place is the same way, so, yeah, um, to use and yours, um, is that how it goes? Or, um, like when people write Christmas cards, it's, they write it to, to you and yours, you and yours, okay, that's the, uh, the appropriate term I'm thinking about. Okay, so I'm going to be taking my painting and um, and uh, staring at it contently for the next seven to eight hours. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, uh, I'll see you again. Oh, one more time. Did I shake your hand? My name is Benedict, by the way. Okay.